Hello everybody, uh, we're here on Ocean Fox and this is Steve and uh, he has a rather nice uh, website called No Foreign Land and uh, I have to admit up front this is a little bit of a promo for him but also I actually think uh, I've bought into this and I think it's a really good idea. So it doesn't cost you anything, it's free to use, that's the other thing I would stress right up front so there's uh, yeah, it's free to use for you, it's free to use for me. And uh, Steve's been developing this for quite a few years, I think, haven't you? Yeah, best part of two years. Yeah, two yeah, years, yeah. yeah. Okay, and give me, give me a very, very quick uh, insight into what this actually does. What's the benefits for the yachtsman? Okay, it's social networking for yachtsmen. Basically. Social networking Cruisers, for yachtsmen. Cruisers, yeah, yep. and boaters. Yep. Um, two main things you do with the site is you... I look for information about places where you might be going. Right. Yeah, where there's marinas, anchorages, um, dinghy docks, chandleries, all sorts of stuff that's useful for boaters. Um, so you've got lots of places of information on an interactive map. And also you can put your boat on the interactive map as well. Yeah. And, and in fact, this is how we, uh, on our website, on Austria Face website, this is actually how we uh, provide the map about where we are and uh, travelling. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you look on Ocean Fox's yeah. homepage. And, and that, nice, that information nice comes map. from either from uh, the AIS yeah. or it comes from the sat phone. Yeah, bunch of different ways we can yeah. track boats. Okay. Yeah, so you yeah. can draw your track across the map. Yeah. AIS is yeah. your sort of little unreliable. If you look on marine traffic or any of these sites, you know that the data is uh, kind of 80, 90% there. So it goes yeah. a bit weird sometimes. If you've got Iridium Go or Sat Phone, any way of sending email in, uh, then you can update remotely as well. So we've got we've had about thirty or forty odd boats across the Atlantic in the last month or so that have used our tracking. Wow, that's great. L about thirty with Iridium goes, yeah. and the rest of them sending emails from Sat Phone. So let's have a little uh, demo of some of the features yeah. based around here in Mindelo All right. Harbour. Well, okay. So let's start. So this is the uh, bay here at the harbour and we're about in the middle here aren't we? Yeah, yeah, I mean I'm, I'm logged in as me um, so I can just, I'm not sure you can you see, yeah you can see it out there. So if I click on that button that takes me straight to my boat, so that's Amalia. Yep. That's us. Um, we can switch to satellite view which helps us in this particular place because we can see that that's you over that's there. That's our social fox. Yeah, and there's a few other boats on the site dotted around the marina, the anchorage as well. We can switch to Navionics charts, which is useful if you're a sailor. Yeah. A bunch okay. of different views on here. Um, useful stuff like where, the, where to tie your dinghy up if you're coming in from the anchorage. You know, this is uh, so the sort it, of thing you go in circles looking for. It, it, the reason why it's called No Foreign Land is because it makes you feel like you are not in a foreign land. You know this place. Yeah, actually, that, yeah, it could be. I might sell it as that now. It's, it's actually a quote from um, uh, Robert Louis Stevenson. One of his books, he said, there's no such thing as a foreign land. It's yeah. only the traveller that's foreign. Yeah. So that's where it came from originally. Yeah. But I think, yeah. I think so better. these... Um, Things like, for example, you've got an icon here for the supermarket. Yeah. Uh, how, how did that icon get on there? That's just added by users. All of this stuff is added by users who have visited the area. They've got some knowledge and they share it. So, yeah, we've got shops, places you can get some chandlery, a laundrette, some of that fill gas bottles, all useful stuff. Um, it's dead easy to add places as well. So, so basically, the the actual user, the group of people that are using it, yeah. uh, which are spread all around the world, they're the people that are going to add on in all this information. That's right. That's so right. you're actually getting things which are uh, specifically put on there by yachtsmen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yachtsmen as well. For so yachtsmen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, by yachtsmen for yachtsmen. It's so tell, show us how, um, for example, if you're going out, we're going out to the restaurant tonight. Aren't yeah. We? yeah, yeah. So let's put the restaurant on the map. So I'm going to click up here to add a place. Confirm that's what I want to do. Internet here in Mindelo is pretty slow. It's actually called Taverna. It's a restaurant. So we choose that icon. And again, we can switch between satellite mode and regular mode on the map here. I know it's in that building, so I'm going to zoom right in and make sure we're even on the right side of the street to put that in. It's Italian, right? Yep. 
Italian meat and fish. Mm -hmm. There you go, Italian meat and seafood restaurant. We'll save that. There you go. Click the save button, and there's the restaurant we're going for dinner in later. Okay, and also, also there's a sort of group facility, isn't there, where you can uh, yeah, pick yeah. different... Yeah, there's, in fact, that's uh, generally there is filtering on the map. Mm -hmm. So there's quite a bit of information here at the moment. So if I'm looking more generally at the Cape Verde Islands, we zoom out a little bit there, and I want to find somewhere to fill up gas bottles, for example, then we can use a filtering feature and we can show only the places where we buy gas, dink, and there. Okay. So we've turned everything off apart from places we can fill I need up to gas. go down and fill my gas bottle up tomorrow. There you go. You know where to go. I know where to In go. In fact, <laughs> luckily that's just across the street from us, that one. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the, uh, the grouping stuff, so with boats, we can filter the map to show people in particular groups so there's a kids group there's an Atlantic crossing group so one of the boats are doing Atlantic crossings with us now there's a bunch up there that'll be the Canary Islands and there's a bunch already oh, we're yeah. over in the Caribbean we're leaving it a bit late I think aren't we well, well you're off in the morning we've got we're another off day in the morning. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't think we are leaving it too late really no. this is the best time to go it's no. just that you get less time in the Caribbean yeah but we're going to be there for 18 months so yeah it's not a problem we're not going to be there for another year what other features has it got? Um, yeah, the tracking feature is probably worth uh, having a quick look at. So this, again, this is our boat. And um, you can track with AIS, you can track with Iridium. So this is our Iridium Go showing our track all the way down from where we spent the winter in Sicily. So it's tracked us across uh, the Meta Gibraltar, up to Portugal, down through the Canaries and over here. And one of the really cool things about it as well is that um, if I go to my boat, look at the details for my boat then you'll find there's a share button I can share my boat position on the map so that's copied to the clipboard yeah. and now I can paste what's on my clipboard anywhere right. in an email in uh, Facebook oh, okay and whoever clicks on that well, I'll show you yeah I'll open up a new browser tab I'll paste the URL in that was generated on the on the website and I can send this in instant message however we like and that's what someone will see when they click on the link it takes them straight to to you so you know whenever you know my dad says where are you Steve where are you at the moment oh, I didn't even know you could do that yeah, that's good cool, that's good it? that's yeah. good that's good so I'll send him that on uh, on whatsapp I mean we so this is our website okay yeah so so as well as being able to paste and uh, links around using messenger or you know share it on Facebook for example yeah, you can embed in the site, so that's obviously that's your website, and uh, we've got no foreign land showing the map and your track as well, yeah. so your followers can follow you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. It's 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 it's, uh, it's a clever little bit of software. I enjoyed that little demo of no foreign land. Uh, as I said, it is completely free to use. Uh, nobody's uh, making money out of it, are they, Steve? Sadly not. No, <laughs> sadly not. <laughs> no. Um, so feel free to uh, contact Steve uh, if you wish to, either through Facebook or Facebook's through the website. Facebook's probably the best thing, yeah, we've yeah. got a Facebook group which is linked to from the website, yeah. so you'll find us there and yeah, put and, comments uh, in the group. Hopefully it will build and, because uh, it gives you all about moorings as well, doesn't it? Loads of stuff, yeah. 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 Moorings, anchorages, yeah, 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 all yeah. that sort of thing. That, lots, uh, of, lots of good stuff. Good, lots of good stuff. Yeah. Okay, so enjoy yourselves and bye.